This camera is not snapping photos. It's actually taking video 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The camera and the video are owned by a private corporation, not your local government. That corporation normally is Redflex, an Australian-based for-profit company that's funneling millions of your dollars to the land down under. Well, that's a lot of Vegemite, Fosters, Shrimps on the Bobby, and Paul Hogan movies. So, when the camera flashes, a still frame is taken from the video, attached to a ticket, mailed out to the registered owner. But, for a ticket to be valid in Arizona, it has to be served in person. Most are now just thrown out. In fact, many vehicles are exempt from this enforcement system. Those registered to private mailboxes, companies, judges, politicians, are completely exempt. And if you're married, just cross-register your vehicles and now you're both exempt. People driving Larry Fitzgerald's cars, they don't have to worry about photo tickets. <laughs> and $16.50 of every photo ticket goes to pay for the campaigns of politicians. So now you, now you know why they're determined to keep the scam. Now we know that photo, sorry, video traffic enforcement makes a set of rules that not everyone has to follow. We can justify it because it's all about safety, right? Even though it is constitutional. No. The safety scam. New Mexico Department of Transportation, 2009, did a study. Accidents increased after cameras were deployed. And closer to home, in Peoria, Arizona, a 400% increase in fatal accidents. Now this is due to an increase in rear-end collisions. Red Flex lobbyists will try to say that rear-end collisions are just a semi-harmless byproduct of camera installation. In Pinal County, Fatalities doubled after the cameras were deployed. Sheriff Paul Babu won the election in 2008 because he promised to ban photo radar. And he cited the fact that it violated the Arizona Constitution and the terrible safety record. Red Flex actually supplied all the data for the only statewide study in auto accidents. This was to prove their cameras keep us safe. While there were some decreases, what they ignored is that this is for all roads, regardless of enforcement. They also ignored that traffic greatly decreased because of economic conditions. In fact, the same decreases were seen in Nevada and Utah, both of which have a ban on photo ticketing. Damn it, Janet! <laughs> the system really is about money. It never was about safety. So what else do these cameras have in store for us? Let's take a look at the contract with Phoenix, which allows for enhanced ticketing, enhanced revenue. <laughs> Did you forget to register your vehicle on time? Did you forget to renew your insurance on time? Did you have a hand off the wheel because you were sipping water on a hot Arizona summer day? You would now owe double the fine or more if Red Flex gets their way. Those who advocate the camera say, if you weren't doing anything wrong, you have nothing to worry about, right? Wrong. Motorists passing through Paradise Valley found out that's just not true. $200,000 in bogus red light tickets had to be refunded after the city was caught shortening the yellow lights to create more violations, create more revenue. Short yellow lights are proven time and time again to cause accidents. 1,300 tickets in Scottsdale also had to be refunded at the intersection of Shea and Scottsdale Road after what Redflex said was a bad crystal, whatever that is, caused the camera to flash, regardless of speed. <laughs> Believe it or not, over 90% of photo tickets issued across America are for right turns on red, which aren't even illegal. <laughs> and they have some of the steepest fines at over $450 a piece in Chicago and LA. Motorists across the UK, Europe, Canada, Australia get a one mile per hour buffer. Have you ever exceeded the speed limit by a tick? Think they wouldn't try that here? Think again. All right, don't panic. It's not time to move away from Arizona just yet. We have the answer. Let the people decide. Photo, video, traffic enforcement has never survived a public vote anywhere, ever. And if we're successful in November, you Arizona voters will get a chance to ban this system completely statewide, just like Nevada, Utah, and 13 other states already have. So go outside, sign our initiative. I think we know how the people will decide. Thank you. Yeah.